Back inside Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario, California, World Series of Fighting Four. Alongside Boz Rutan and Joey Varner, I'm Todd Harris. Glad to have you with us on a very warm summer's eve as all these fighters, Boz, look to make the next step as we look into the lightweight division. You are looking at Jay-Z Cavalcante, 30 years of age. I'll tell you what, a kid that he's going up against tonight in Tyson Griffin, this is an amazing matchup. Both these guys are such terrific athletes. Yep, yep, Calvo Counterman, I love this guy. Very nice guy in, uh, outside the ring of the cage, but an animal inside. Beat guys like Nam Fan, Carl Uno, Ronnie Yaya, worked hard on his striking, so he is dangerous anywhere. His kickboxing is sensational. He's a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Trains with the Black Zillions out of Florida and the Hako Hybrid Training Center and his opponent, Tyson Griffin. Now, here's a young man. You want to talk about experience at so many different levels. He has fought the guys the likes of Edgar, Shirk, Gomi, Lentz, Powashevsky. I mean, the list goes on and on. He was the first guy who beat Uriah Faber. And also, get in, think about this. He hit the UFC. He won five times the Fight of the Night Award, one time Submission of the Night. This guy, always busy. This fight, for sure, it's going to be action packed. Time to take a look at our tail of the tape brought to you by Boost Mobile. We'll kick things off in the lightweight division. Tyson Griffin going head to head with Jay-Z Cavalcante. 29, 35, 6 to 5, 8 and weight exactly the same. Both these guys extremely fit. And if you're new to MMA, this is the fight you probably want to tune into because this will be a very active fight. Rules, a 10-point must system is in effect. Three judges score the fight based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and cage control. No kicks or knees to the head of a grounded opponent. Right now, we sit it inside the cage, the official voice of the World Series of Fighting. Here's Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking live inside Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario, California, where tonight world champions and future champions have come to test their skills inside the cage for World Series of Fighting Four. This bout scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the lightweight ranks of the World Series of Fighting. Introducing first, standing on my left and fighting out of the blue corner, trained as a boxer with good Brazilian jiu-jitsu skills. His record, 19 wins, seven losses, one draw. At five feet, 80 inches tall and weighing in at 156 pounds, training with the Black Zillions and fighting tonight out of Deerfield Beach, Florida. Please give a big California welcome to Jay-Z Cavalcante. Here now is his opponent, opposite the cage, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler also trained as a kickboxer, making his World Series of Fighting debut. His professional record, 16 wins with six losses at five feet, six inches tall. He too weighed in at 156 pounds, training with extreme couture. He's here tonight from Albany, California. Please give a big welcome to Tyson Griffin. Your referee for this contest, Jason McCoy. Get back, guys. Get back. Stand back. Stand back. So this one's scheduled for three here in Ontario, California. Two men with a lot of experience in the world of MMA. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! No touching gloves. No, no love. No question about it. And I think both these guys certainly aware of the other one's pedigree. Look at Tyson's legs. Whew. Tree trunks. Good foot. Very nice footwork there. Interesting to note, though, Jay-Z Cavalcante, along with his Brazilian jiu-jitsu and his striking and his wrestling background, he's now looking to get into the kickboxing rim. So you want to talk about a well-rounded mixed martial artist. That's him. Yep, it's what you want to do. You know he's known for the ground. Let's get better on my striking. Cavalcante and Griffin. Griffin in the white trunks, Cavalcante in the blue. This one's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Some power shots here have been thrown by both these guys. Tyson Griffin, Griffin always known for the, the big legs and the kicks, but he looks thick. Yeah, he's uh, very strong. I, I think he cuts a lot of weight. That's what I heard a while ago. Ooh. 
<laughs> Good timing by Cabo Conte, well choreographed. Boss, early on, if you're coaching a fighter in these early rounds and you see two guys like this that are great athletes, well matched up, what are you looking for? You know, yeah, you gotta find the weak spots, you know. First start throwing the jab, find out the reach of your opponent, that's very important. Because if it's two inch inches longer and you don't know, you're gonna have a big problem. And then it's just looking for what he's doing. You know, you lift your leg, how does he react? And then don't do it right away, wait a little bit. Do it again. If he reacts the same, okay, now you know. Wait another two minutes and then capitalize on those kind of things. In this world of MMA now, though, where you can see almost everyone's fights on some form of media, you really have an opportunity to scout your guys, and you know these guys have, have seen plenty of tape on one another. Yeah, for sure. You know, it will, it's always smart to do this. A lot of guys say, oh, I don't watch fights uh, of my opponent. Well, it's very dumb if you don't. You know, and I'm not looking at the latest things he does. Right. You know, but you look at, like, 12 fights, what does he always yep. do? You know, and there you go with capitalizing. Great leg kicks here by Tyson. He threw a few already. Ooh. Oh, nice one. Wow. Back at a left hook. I love it. I know you love those combinations, and that time Cabo Conte came in with a right leg kick and followed up the left hook. I love that also. Left hook, right low kick, left hook. That's also good. And maybe not even another low kick. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, second left hook after the low kick. If you do it the correct way, you can give it full power. You're going to leave it backwards while you put your right foot on the ground behind you and then you rotate your upper body to the right. Notice Cavalcante changes his stance as he goes to regular to southpaw. Is that just to miss up Griffin or is that just part of his strategy of how he likes to fight? I, no, I, I don't know. I've got to see what he, what he prefers. I think he prefers this stance. And if he jumps to southpaw, he probably comes with a left kick. Boy, both men coming in attacking it multiple directions. High leg kicks, we see the inside kick. That just barely missing there as Cavalcante comes back with a big sweeping left hand. Good speed here in the early round as we go into 90 seconds, each round five minutes long. Speed and power. Very nice. You know that one, one of those shots is going to connect on yep. the tip of the chin, it's going to be over. Small cut over the left brow of Jay-Z Cavalcante. Boy, he faked for the shot there and he paid for it. Very nice. Great reflex by uh, Tyson there. Nice low kick as well. Well, you gotta like how Tyson Griffin gets in and gets out. He gets in and inflicts his damage and he backs right out and doesn't give time for his opponent to get any kind of retaliation going. That's the trick. You can do it with the boss, do it with the boxing tapes. Combination pushback, combination pushback. After every combination, it's a workout because you're going to train your front leg, but it's the most important, especially if you go with straight to the body. You know, left mm. counter hook, hook, counter left, whatever you want to call it. It's the most used hook, so you have to get out there. Smart move there by Tyson Griffin. He went for the takedown, wasn't there, and he backed right out. That's it. Don't waste any energy. And don't walk again on that right up cut left hook, but uh, Tyson was strong before, because that was fast. Final 10 seconds here in round number one. This one's scheduled for three. Jay-Z Cavalcante and Tyson Griffin will have the second round when we return to Ontario, California. This was the action on the right side of your screen at the end of round one. Jason McCoy telling them to break and uh, Cavalcante not relinquishing his hold. Of course, Tyson Griffin did not like it and McCoy has to step in and say, listen, when I say break, that's not in your due time. And we got great action here to start round two. Both guys are angry now. How about that flurry? They're coming, I love it. A lightweight action in the World Series of Fighting here. This is our first fight of the night. And we've got some great action lined up for you throughout this night, all concluding with our main event, Tyrone Spawn going head-to-head -head with Angel Deanda. I love those knees. Anywhere those land are, is good. You know, on the shoulders, on the thighs especially. And that was a really nice, well-timed knee, but you've got to watch out because it's very close to the head. 
but you know you go for the collarbone. You guys got to work, improve your position. What do they say? Always six or eight pounds of pressure. It's uh, only what it takes to snap the collarbone. Seriously? Yeah. And I, I broke my collarbone when I was a kid. You can't lift your arm anymore. It's gone. Improve Over. your position. So, I'm going to stand you up. Uh, you want to fight. Why well, am I not surprised you have that information running around in your head? Yeah. I mean, break. That's how we roll. Get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> Jason McCoy has seen enough this stalemate. We want action in the World Series of Fighting, so he stands the fighters up. Tyson Griffin in the white trunks. Jay-Z Cavalcante, the Brazilian, in the blue trunks. Jay-Z is cutting him off. He's not following him. He's cutting Tyson off. That's a smart move from Tyson. He's away from the power leg. Nice. That I like passed that by the inside kick. Yeah, on the back left. Oh, he connected there to the left. Confidence building as Tyson Griffin just calls him on. Body clinch coming. He's got to watch out though. If Cavalcante attacks with a single kick and he loads him up, yeah. that's asking for a straight punch to the jaw. The only thing that your opponent needs to do is stretch his arm. Come on, and got to improve. And that almost happened just before this. Well, this has been a great fight. We've seen a little bit of everything. The only thing we have not seen so far is they have not gone to the canvas yet. Both men have tried takedowns, but it hasn't happened. And a nice flurry up against the cage. Still a lot of power on those shots. Both guys are kicking fast now, yeah. and, and because they're kicking fast, they don't turn in their hips, and the, and the kick slides out. You know, it spreads out the impact. You gotta watch out. You also hit with the flat part of your shin if you don't put your hips in there. And of course, you want to kick with that thin part of the shin. Tyson Griffin just fired off a wicked uppercut, just narrowly missing the chin of Jay-Z Cavalcante, and there it is again. There's that uppercut again, yeah. It's really good with it. Exactly. Good pace coming here. One minute to go in round two. Yeah, this one's scheduled for three. I told you that was what I was talking about. Cavalcante just stretched his arm. Nice low kick there as well. Cavalcante got a hit, but he didn't even flinch. Great job, Cavalcante, right now, pushing the action. Under 30 seconds here of round number two. This one's scheduled for three. Keep working, keep working. You do your work. Tyson Griffin and Jay-Z Cavalcante giving us a great show here in Ontario, California. Difficult job for the judges so far because Boss Root, this has been a very tight one. Yep, very close. And we will go to a third and final round here in Ontario when we return. From Citizens Business hey Bank guys, Arena in Ontario, California, you are watching World Series of Fighting for Todd Harris along with Boss Root and Joey Varner on hand. This is our first fight of the night, and it has been a good one. Tyson Griffin in the white trunk, scoring off with Jay-Z Cavalcante in the blue. And our nice. first big takedown as Cavalcante responds in kind on the inside leg kick. But watch here, because Tyson Griffin will be busy. He's going to try to escape. He's going to use the butterfly guard there, maybe. Not anymore. Well, he's trying to flip it back under and see if he can flip him to, for him, the right. He needs that left foot on the inside. 
Both men staying very active. Close guard coming from Tyson Griffin. And this is the point in the fight in the third round. Both guys have worked up a pretty good sweat. And it's tough to get a hold of them because it's slick. It's slick, you know. It, it, it's only good for rear naked jokes. That slips in a little easier. Wow, Calvin got there right away, looking for everything. Looking for side jokes, right? Now she's in half guard. See if he can pass this. This is important. Tyson needs to lock this leg. All right, explain to the fans at home, boss, that are new to the thing. What are you talking about when you say half guard? And what does he need to do here on the mount? This is the mount. You see, one leg was in between, and they call that half guard. Oh, my. And now he has taken the back of Tyson Griffin, has Jay-Z Capoconte and Griffin in a world of hurt. And if you're in between somebody's legs, you're in his guard. And this, now he's got back mount. That's the top guy here I'm talking about. Jay-Z. Not only does he have to worry about those wicked punches coming down from Jay-Z, and that's it. it. That is it. Tyson Griffin pleading his case, but Jason McCoy says, I've seen enough. You know, this is in the rules meeting. They mention this once, twice, sometimes even three times. You do not improve your position. You get a warning. You still don't do it. It will stop the fight. He's been around for a long time. He was flat on the ground. He got hit. He didn't do anything to try to escape that position. That's why they stop it. Do with the big Joe McCarthy one time. And literally, he tells it three times. Here it is one more time. Let's look at the stoppage and what Jason McCoy was looking at. I mean, he's in a bad place. It doesn't get much worse than that other than basically getting choked out. Yep, that's it. You know, it's, he should, he, you saw he twisted yeah. his hips. He tried to go in between the legs of Calvacanta, but he needed to escape. That's the most important. Get out of that position. Cal push him upwards. And Cavalcanti did a great job. He had his right arm locked in there, so there's oh, yeah. no way of protecting for Tyson Griffin. So the fight ends in the third round. Tyson Griffin not happy, and you are looking at the president of the World Series of Fighting, Big Ray Cepho, as he gets set for his heavyweight bout. We'll have that coming up next when we return to Ontario. At the end of the first fight of the night, it is Tyson Griffin and Jay-Z Cavalcante, and this one stoppage as we take a look at our boost fight recap package. And early on, boy, Tyson Griffin was staying very active. Second round, excellent action from both men. Jay-Z Cavalcante starting to come forward, really pushing the pace. And here we go, Boss, in the third round. Griffin's still looking very good, but when it gets to the ground, it becomes all Cavalcante. And this is it. Yep. Not improving. You know, that's what it is. So on the stop, it is Jay-Z Cavalcante that gets the win. We now go inside the cage. Tim Hughes has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of 1 minute 37 seconds of that third and final round when referee Jason McCoy steps in to wave this one off. Your winner by TKO, Jay-Z Cavalcante. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. 